Um, well, my name is Shanna. I actually run a um, Social Security Disability Advocacy Call Center. Um, prior to COVID, we were an in-person-based call center, but post-COVID, we have gone to a cloud-based business model, um, which is heavily integrated Zoom into um, not just working with our clients and interviewing our clients, but also for um, recruiting, hiring, and training staff. Um, we liked the different features that Zoom offered, and um, I, I guess what you get for the price and the amount of, um, I, I just, we, because we're a nationwide law firm, we need unlimited access to meetings, meeting times, um, and a variety of things that other services weren't offering. Um, you know, we needed diverse scheduling. We needed group meetings. Um, we needed private meetings. We needed meeting features that included waiting room options um, for, you know, clientele privacy and things of that nature. And some of those things we either didn't see or couldn't figure out how to use with some of the other products. It was very easy. Um, once I learned how to use all of the different features that it offered, um, I started scheduling our training and I had our whole call center trained in about a week um, to use Zoom, not just with our clients, but with our other staff as well. I'd say before we upgraded our account to the paid account where we were, um, not experiencing loss of meetings or meeting time due to those time limits. Um, more than once, I was like, I wish there was a feature where if my time was about to run out, I could just hit a button and say upgrade account now. <laughs> and it would just uh, give me the option to do it on the spot to keep my meeting going. Um, so until I did that, that was one of the things I was like, I just wish we could do that immediately on the fly. <laughs> well, from, from my personal experience, um, any, any type of cloud-based cloud business where you're doing um, heavy clientele interaction, um, anything where you're having excessive meetings, um, I'd say even if you're in an in-office environment, especially with COVID, and, and we've done this as well, um, we've made all of our, you know, HR management staffing meetings all virtual now with Zoom. Um, so none of us leave our, we have conference rooms, but we don't use them because we don't want to gather. So we stay in our desks and our offices and um, it's made that easier and faster. Everybody's on time and they don't seem to last as long or, you know, end up with lollygagging like, like you would if you were in person, just which naturally happens sometimes in that environment. Um, so I'd say it's also been a time saver in that regard for us. I, I would I would rate Zoom a 10 um, uh, for a few reasons, just the, the ease of use, the quality of it, um, the diversity of it. Um, I, I hope to see it continue to grow and change with, um, you know, cloud-based business models moving in the in the future. I feel like that's the direction of business and where it's going for most mainstream businesses. So I like to see um, how Zoom, you know, grows to accommodate other areas as well. <laughs>